Hi friends, it's Dyra. Welcome back to my channel. So this is a client of mine who I previously done her color and as you can see, it's like all the way almost out from us from us having to trim it. It has been a while. So she showed me a picture that was a kind of, um, I'm not gonna say ombre, it just had um, some natural root for a nicer grow out and then the bottom had several different warm tones so I am using um, a couple different ways to bring in all those different tones in one sitting so the first thing that I am doing is creating some highlights and I am creating tees so that it can transition from the natural to the color because like I said she wanted a a rooty look so I'm not applying the lightener all the way up on all of the spots so in the back um, since you don't generally see the back as much in the root area I am NOT going as high in the back and as I go up the head I do go closer to the root just so that she can have a longer grow out because you don't also you also don't want to put it so low that they'll need to get it done again in a month or so just because it'll it'll grow out and look so low but you also you want to leave a root so you have to kind of find a happy medium so i am teasing it like i said for a nicer transition between the root and when the st color starts coming in and then i'm applying the lightener i am using blonde solution and i am using their five volume uh, she this part of her hair is virgin hair so obviously the developer doesn't need to be so high because it's going to lighten it lighten pretty easily uh, so yes yeah, so I'm just gonna keep doing that so I get to the top of her head and then in the front I do apply face framing so I apply more foils around the front perimeter of her head and like I said I bring them closer to the root at the top So here she is after I applied all the foils. I did, after I did that, apply some um, 
some uh, balayage pieces just to bring in another dimension of color because like I said the photo that she showed me had several colors and then uh, what I'm doing here is I'm gonna tone with two different <clears throat> excuse me two different um, colors I am using um, a Wella toner with a uh, 10 volume and what that's going to do is tone the highlights that I put in but it will also bump the base up a little bit so that will introduce another color and what I'm doing is doing it in a kind of brick lay pattern so I'm taking a piece at the bottom skipping spaces and then I'm doing the same on the top in between those spaces on the bottom I hope that makes sense to you with you actually seeing me do it and then after I apply that toner I then go in with another toner to highlight the I mean to tone the rest of the highlights and that is in the seven because she didn't want to be super bright either but I did keep the face frame pieces brighter I didn't apply the toner um, right away and then I left it in just a little bit less time than than the second toner just to make sure that it's covered and it's toned um, but it's not as dark as the back yeah I just wanted it just a smidge lighter So after I allow the toners to process, I did shampoo with a Redken Acidic Shampoo that brought the hair's pH balance down back to where it needed to be. I also did a treatment to make sure that her hair was as healthy as it could be after the chemical process that we did to it. So now in order to shampoo, I am using my Love & Health Protect Me Serum, which is a heat protective serum but it also helps keep the hair hydrated and moisturized and protects against the heat and also makes the hair nice and shiny. Um, so then I am blow drying the hair and I am using a round brush and I'm using my twin turbo blow dryer. I have fallen back in love with round brushes. I go back and forth between um, the round brush and the paddle brush and now I'm back on my round brush kick. <laughs> so I'm going to blow dry her hair and silk press her. So I'll let you guys watch that and I'll be back.
Okay, so today she did not want to get any curls. She wanted to leave her hair bone straight. So what I did was just use my hot comb to uh, lay down her edges. And then I applied my Love and Help Shine Spray. And then I used the blow dryer. And what that's going to do is to, again, lock in moisture. Um, the Shine Spray helps with uh, fighting against humidity so her hair does not revert back. So I just applied it on and then what I'm doing is using the cool setting on my blow dryer to um, make sure that the cuticles are closed and the shine got into the hair. So it's similar to when we wrap the hair in uh, Put someone under the dryer in the cool setting it helps us do the same thing so yeah guys this is her color she loved it she said it's exactly what she wanted which was a multi-dimensional um, look with all the different colors um, working off of each other I think that's what people want more nowadays in solid colors I think the multi-dimensional thing is um well has been really taken off so yeah guys this is the look if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are made aware of when i upload a video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one